everybody. And uh, I just uh, thought I'd pop in quick and get some time lapse footage of some deck, not the kills. I definitely do need to ramble a bit if I want to fill the time of me killing Rex. shooting this in uh, my 1920 by 1080 resolution. <sighs> wow, that was, uh, boy, that was, that was not common at all. I believe that's on his, uh, rare drop table. <coughs> yeah, yeah, oof. That's a yikes there. It's a major yikes. That's okay, we're doing pretty good on uh, anti-poison. See, at this point of uh, me speaking on the recording, I'm at Gilkin 99, so it's gonna be pretty cool to hit 100. Um, 100 puts me such as 75. Baskets of strawberries are an excellent food source for iron men who don't have access to serodomin brews. Past, I believe it's like 80 or 82 hit points. You um you get sorry, I'm a little distracted. You get 30 hit points per basket. So that's really excellent. Uh, even pineapple pizzas are all eight hit points behind that. I mean, 30 hit points is huge. Uh, but yeah, either way, I mean, this is exciting because on an Iron Man, I think the Dagonoth Kings are a pretty cool boss, although I will say that I wish uh, there was more incentive to actually farm them on an Iron Man, uh, because of course, once you get uh, your set of rings, what am I doing there with uh, Protect from Alien? Once you get your set of rings, They really don't drop any alcohol. 
Cause, um, I do believe Supreme drops a mud stab. Uh, that's that's gonna be pretty important to pick up. But uh, that plus the three rings um, is gonna be it. I already have the dragon axe, so that's out of the way. next goals is going to be uh, getting my hunter to around 66 for I believe it's monkey madness too uh, in general I think getting my hunter up will be pretty productive because I slack quite a bit on my hunter and it's one of the only skills that's sub 60 right now and that one of the only skills I don't really have experience uh, mindlessly uh, training. Uh, so once I do that, that'll be nice. I could get that into the brackets that I am looking to get it to for late like, game goals. And um, magic. I want to start bursting soon. Getting mage cloak one will be. Good enough for now, as uh, Ice Burst has a max hit of 22, so 2% 2 uh, magic damage or magic strength buff from the imbued cloak is not really going to do anything for me. Uh, the plus 5 accuracy would be nice, but that kind of depends on, on what I'm bursting, so it's whatever. Uh, in reality, um, Magic Cloak 1 is going to be good enough, and then the Blood Runes that I save, which will be 400 uh, by not having to finish, well, actually more than 400, uh, for not having to finish Mage Arena 2 is going to be uh, pretty awesome.
much flow to my runs. Because Supreme would be such a long kill, the timers would have reset by the end. I don't think it would be worth it. On task, though, my Slayer Dart E damage is definitely high enough to take care of Rex. Also, uh, my gear switch out is not really optimal. Full Void might be nice, but even then, my defense is arguably a little low right now. Uh, it only takes a few hits by Prime during the opening few hits where you're fighting both him and Supreme to uh, kind of knock you silly. You're really gonna have to get lucky with, um... What's some good dragon dagger specs? Crystal halberd if you're that late. Although morning's in part two, a little far away with the uh, death talisman and all that, but we'll see. <laughs> feeling like this kill is going to be the B-Ring. Um, it just came to me. I don't know if it's because it's kill 104, and we all know what that means, 104, but um, B-Ring absolutely coming my way. And uh, here it is. Yep, that was not it. <laughs> and so I definitely will not have uh, time-lapsed that. I got bass like what 13 so I got 26 in bass then I got 3, 6, 9, 12 oh wait no <laughs> sorry I have 23 strawberries oh wait no yeah I was counting that correctly Actually, uh, 3, 6, 9, 12 is an 120 hit points plus 15. So I have 135 hit points of strawberries in my inventory. That's really nice. Any poison just wore off as you are there. in tuna potatoes so I have 88 plus 135 plus 26 and I got 1100 death runes I could pretty much sit here until I get a berserker ring frankly uh, at this point especially if I stay up which I'm you know I'm gonna be awake for a while I think I think I'm gonna be walking out here with a B ring and that's gonna be a slick eight strength levels effectively in the ring slot. I'm very excited about that. I know I'm speaking a little preemptively, but I really think this is going to be it. I'm just feeling it. Not this kill exactly, although if it is, that would be nice. So take a, um, take another Hello. Although I think, um, Rex is kind of the ugliest pet. I like Supreme, obviously. Supreme has drip. Prime has some drip as well. Um, I, I really like Dagonoth Prime as a boss. I mean, I like them all, but... Um, Dagonoth Supreme is the coolest boss, obviously, because he, he tends to be the one to drop you. You know, he's, he's pretty bones like that. But uh, there's something about Dagonoth Prime, you know, a, a master of, you know, grandmaster even, <laughs> of, uh, of ranged, you know, I mean, what, what is there not to, uh, not to be a little intimidated by? You know, I mean, that's just it. It, uh, it is intimidating. In fact, uh, there, there's something about Prime that he's uh, he's always involved in uh, the loss of HP. You know, he's, he's strategic like that, that little lizard. He also has a pretty uh, 
He has a pretty uniform color palette, which is nice, of course. So what are we at here? 105 um, ranking on, um, I think ranking on bosses in general is gonna be easier on an Iron Woman because you're not really looking for duplicates of items, especially not something like uh, Berserkers or anything. And like I said, Rex and the other deck and all the kings are not really bosses that are worth farming for the GP. There really aren't any valuable alcohols. Uh, there's, there's really just kind of nothing. Just that their uh, rings of power are just so powerful. So yes, yeah, so my focus here is set at about 70 minutes. I'm gonna try to wrap it up quick, as I just wanted this to be like a quick uh, time crunch of me doing a bunch of Rex kills, as I know. Uh, again, uh, killing Rex, some time lapse content like this might be uh, nice to watch. Maybe to some whispers and maybe some music. So, uh, like I said, I'd be interested to hear some uh, feedback. Got a firm neck blade that's, uh, you know, pretty cool and tradable, but <laughs> it'd be nice to have a B ring. Anyways, I'm going to keep the recording uh, going so that I get some video to uh, time lapse, but I'm going to end the audio here, and this will line up to be the end of the video. And I hope that you enjoy it. And I hope you take care. And I really truly mean it when I say that I hope you're doing well. And that you 